You cringe as you hear footsteps traveling down the hall. Seems it's time for another one of your captors' games. You groan, unable to stop yourself from wondering what will happen to you next. You've lost track of how long you've been trapped here. You never dare to list all the ways the monster has hurt you, physically, mentally, emotionally. You feel broken. You barely even look up when her footsteps stop in front of your cage. Hello. Hello. How are you doing in here? Am I a little human friend? Oh, I hope the cage is still uncomfortable. <laughs> That's half the point after all. But luckily for you, you get to stretch your legs a bit today. Stretchy, stretchy. I'm taking you out into the forest for... a game. <laughs> Games are so fun. Why so morose? You used to have a glimmer. If faint of hope every time I took you out, thinking that maybe, maybe, maybe you'd get a chance to escape. I guess that by now you think you don't have the slightest chance. Mm, true. Well, cheer up. Things are going to be a bit different today. I'll explain once we're outside. Follow me closely. You can try to slip away if you like. But you know, I like that. And I'll simply catch you again. Don't you? Ah, how long has it been since you've had a breath of fresh air? Hmm? The last few games have been held inside my home, confusing as it is. I'm guessing it might be nice to get out. Am I right? Mm -hmm. I certainly picked a good day for this. The landscape is very rugged today. Perfect for hiding sleep. No, you won't be the one hiding this time. Uh, uh, uh. We both know I can always find you. You're a little hot going. No, no matter where you go. What I am hearing is about this water you can find. Me. Yeah. It certainly flips the script, doesn't it? I thought of it after you chased after my other prisoner, thinking she was me. I got curious about how you do in an actual chase as the predator. Do you have it in you? Do you corner the prey? Of course, you don't really have much of a chance at holding me down, so I'll be making things easier for you to keep it sporting. I am fair. I'm going to tie a ribbon to each of my wrists. If you can grab one of them, just one. Then you win. If you haven't gotten me by the time that I feel satisfied, then you lose. A prize. 
house. Oh, silly of me. I was so excited about this idea that I thought. Oh, about it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll give you a chance to escape. Like usual, but this time you can set the terms. I have to approve it, of course. But if it sounds reasonable, then I'll accept. Are you ready? You'd better be, because off I go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this certainly isn't a good start for you. You've already lost sight of me, haven't you? It's so strange to see you moving towards the sound of my voice. I like this strange, but the terrain today is playing little tricks on you. My voice is echoing all over the place, isn't it? Are you really sure that you're headed in the right direction? Hmm? <laughs> Change your mind. Oh, but you shouldn't be so easily influenced by what I say. Perhaps you were right the first time. <laughs> You look like a lost puppy, trying to find its way home. Oh. What was that? Oh. Perhaps you popped a peek of me. But of course, you already know how active the plant life is here. It could have just been... A tendril, hmm. You know, it's amusing how you keep wandering this way and that. But I really think I prefer how you move when you're being chased. At least then you have motivation. You move with a purpose. Thing in one direction. Right now, you keep returning to the start, and that's not very fun. Just pick a direction. I won't wander too far from you. That's it. You're getting closer. 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 Uh, now you're getting farther. <laughs> no. Go back the way you were going before. No, no. I'm not sure you're cut out for hunting. Fine. Let's do this a different way. Just look up. Higher. Higher. And a bit to the left. Oh, can you see me? All you have to do is climb this tree and catch me. It will be fairly challenging to climb a tree with writhing branches. But at least that seems like something you can manage. There. That's it. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Careful. If you don't time it right, you'll fall all the way down there. Splat! Oh, that would be entertaining. Um, yes, just now. Wait, no! Oh, you can't even climb a tree. All right, then. I suppose we'll just have to do a chase. Come on. Come on, I'll keep within sight of you. What's wrong? Oh, you think you broke your leg? Well, that's just great. Now what good are you? You can't do anything. 
How long does it take for a human to heal a broken bone? How long? What am I supposed to do? Twiddle my thumbs? <sighs> Maybe we reach the limit of what I can do with you anyway. It's been so hard lately to make things feel fresh between us. Honeymoon's over. It might be time to simply torture you to death and find new prey. Something with some spunk. There's that woman I have locked up, but she's simply not as good as you are. It's not like I want to get rid of you. You're the one who inspired me to do more than spook little children for cheap scares. But even with two working legs, I fear we've really reached your physical limits. I have tons and tons of ideas. But they'd require someone almost superhuman. There's just such a large gap in our abilities. You are so small, so feeble. What <sighs> to do? <sighs> Uh, actually, that gives me an idea. What if you were superhuman? Hmm? Oh yes, I have dabbled with flesh crafting before. Turned a few villagers into ghouls back in the day. Setting them loose on their former homes. Now that. That was a nice reaction. <laughs> I only really focused on aesthetics before. Then I could try some improvements. Uh, 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 where do you think you're off to? You won't get far just dragging your leg like that. If I were you, I'd stay put and hold the very, very still. This is going to be difficult enough as it is. I don't need you squirming around. Mistakes could be painful. Irreversible. I'm sure we both would rather that I not permanently ruin your body when I attend to repair it. Build it better. Let's see. Still, let's start small. I'll just see if I can fix that leg. Still, I know if I concentrate. <laughs> yes, you see, I can sculpt flesh and bone as easy as you are. Pray. Oh, I'm sure it's painful, but stop screaming. Wait, <laughs> what am I saying? Scream. Oh, scream. Oh, scream louder. Oh, that's nice. That's helping me concentrate. How could I not know the power of suffering? Now, if I were to simply Hold these together and squeeze like so. 
Let me just close things up and... Uh, then take a moment, let the pain die down. Then try getting up and walking a bit. If I can't manage a simple repair, then improvements are beyond my skill. For the moment. Oh, well, look at that. You seem to be walking just fine. It seems, perhaps, improving you is worth a shot. Oh, the ideal. Now let me think. What sort of changes should I make? I definitely want to make you faster. So, powering up your leg muscles is a must. Perhaps it would be good to improve your senses as well. You humans rely overly on sight. That's not very useful when finding a thing that's hiding. Or when running in the dark. Perhaps. Improving your senses of hearing and smell as well. Oh, so many ideas. Your cell will be less comfortable. <laughs> but of course, oh, this won't be something I will rush. The pain is worth savoring. Let's head back for now. I'll take some time to plan it all out. The changes I will try. I look forward to making you my own custom prey. This, this is going to be fantastic. Well, that was dark. I certainly would not want to break you, my darlings. I like you just the way you are. But getting creeped out can be a little fun, can't it? <laughs> it can. Thank you again for supporting me. Good boy.